I'm not just this superhuman who can magically process carbs and you can't do it this way. No, I'm a normal human. I am just like you. Emmy. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Emmy. I'm a certified nutritionist and the creator of the Slim on Starch program where you lose weight on a plant-based diet without counting calories or giving up carbs. Heck yeah, sign me up. Today we are doing another vegan weight loss Q&A. So I went on to Instagram and asked you guys, what is it that you want to know? What questions do you have? And let's go ahead and get into it. As always, all questions are anonymous and I do get so many questions, which I love. So if I don't answer your question, please, please keep asking it. Every time I post one of the, I'm doing an Instagram Q and A, vegan weight loss Q and A, if I haven't yet answered your question, ask it again and I will get around to it. But I got so many amazing questions, which I love, which just means we have more, more videos to make. So it's all good in the hood. Let's get started. Question number one, why am I gaining weight? I'm eating whole foods plant-based perfectly. If this is you, then you have got to click the link in my down bar because I have done a free masterclass about this, about the six steps to stop feeling confused and deprived and start losing weight on a plant-based diet. You can be eating whole foods plant-based perfectly and you can gain weight if you're not eating it correctly. That's right, you could be eating a perfectly whole foods plant-based diet and you can start gaining weight. That's actually what happened to me. When I came to this lifestyle, I wasn't overweight and I started gaining weight and I was like, what gives here? And that's exactly why I created the Slim on Starch program because I want to teach people the exact process that you have to follow in order to maintain a lean physique on this sort of diet. You can't just go willy-nilly and just go vegan and be like, all right, I'm all good to go because you can gain weight if you do that. There is a six step process that I do teach and it's very specific as to how you can lose and maintain weight on this diet while eating as much as your body needs and not having to count calories or restrict your portions or anything like that. So instead of making this video that video, I'm just gonna direct you to that video below to teach you the exact process that you can use in order to maintain a lean physique or lose weight eating this way and not have the opposite happen because it can. I also just will insert here a, a word of wisdom is that there's a difference between eating as much as you want and eating as much as you need. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should do something. Just because you can go rob a bank doesn't mean you should go rob a bank. Just because on this lifestyle, something that I promote is that you don't have to count calories, you don't have to restrict your portions, that doesn't mean that you go nuts and make your entire life about eating as much food as you can, as much food as you want, because food is just here to fuel us. It's like going to your to fill up your gas tank and you just keep filling it up, keep filling it up, keep filling up, and it's like, I'm full, I don't need any more, but you're like, yeah, but I got this credit card and I, have as, I can spend as much money as I want, so I'm gonna put as much gas in here as I want, and your car's like, it doesn't work like that. The same thing goes with food, because food is just fuel and we want to put as much in our body as we need to and not just go willy-nilly and stuff ourselves silly. Watch out, Kanye, I'm, I'm rhyming over here like it's nobody's biz. How can you lose weight on your diet? You can't lose weight eating unlimited calories. This is a huge source of confusion because there is a movement in the vegan community that is like stuff yourself silly with as many calories as you can eat. And something that I promote is that you don't have to count calories, you don't have to restrict portions. And oftentimes my philosophy gets confused with the unlimited calories philosophy. I don't promote unlimited calories. What I do promote is eating the right foods in the right proportion portions, not portions, proportions, which means this percentage of your diet comes from this food, this percentage of your diet comes from this food, so that you can eat as much as your body needs and you don't have to count calories, you don't have to restrict portions. I really wanna drive this point home that the way that I teach my diet is that when you are eating the right foods and you understand how much of your diet should be coming from each of the food groups, you don't have to count calories and you can eat as much as you feel your body truly needs and eat with intention, eat when you feel true hunger and stop when your body has had enough. 
I don't promote stuffing yourself silly and just because it's very hard to gain fat on this lifestyle, that doesn't mean that you should eat like it's Thanksgiving every single day. There is a fine line between these two things, promoting unlimited calories and not counting calories. These are not the same thing. I don't promote counting calories, but I do not promote eating unlimited calories and just stuffing yourself to the brim. Neither of those are sustainable lifestyles that are going to bring you to the body, the life, the feeling that you want to feel for the rest of your life. What is going to bring you to the way that you want to feel for the rest of your life is eating a diet of starches, vegetables, fruits, and legumes, and eating as much as your body needs. Not counting calories, not restricting portions, but using this food as fuel to give you energy through life. How do you fearlessly eat so many carbs? Honeys, you cannot think your way into acting. You must act your way into thinking. The only way that I got to where I am is not because I started something when I felt ready to eat a bunch of carbs, not count calories, just sort of surrender to what was going on. The way that I got to where I am is through action. You cannot think your way into acting. If you sit around and wait to feel comfortable with the idea of eating these really high carb foods like potatoes and fruit and rice and beans and oats, you'll be waiting for the rest of your life and you'll stay stuck. The only way to grow is to go out of our comfort zone. I'm sure you guys have seen those pictures where it says your comfort zone and then it says growth. And in order to become the best version of yourself, you have to feel the fear and do it anyway. You have to act your way into thinking. We cannot think our way into acting. Like I said, I'm not this... I'm not just this superhuman who can magically process carbs and you can't do it this way and you can't eat as, as much as your body needs and not count calories, but I can. I'm just gifted with this lean physique. No, I'm a normal human. I am just like you. Like I said, I didn't, I came to this lifestyle and I started gaining weight because I wasn't doing it correctly. I'm not a superhuman. The way that I got to where I am is through experimenting and, and learning and making mistakes and just diving in feeling the fear and just pushing through it and knowing that I would get to the other side but I would only get there if I was willing to take the jump and that is what you need to do as well you need to feel the fear and do it anyway and when you become a piece of evidence for this lifestyle I mean you'll look back and be like why did I wait so long to get to where I am now is it okay to have a cheat meal once a week and be whole foods plant-based all week otherwise? It depends on what your goals are, what your ethics are, what your lifestyle is, if you're in a relationship. And I just wanna back up before I answer this question and I don't like the term cheat meal. What I do in my program is we create something called a system. And a system is the times in your life where you're not gonna be eating whole foods plant-based. For example, something that I do, as you guys know, like on Christmas, I always say on Christmas I have cinnamon rolls and they're vegan, of course, I will be a vegan for the rest of my life and oil really wreaks havoc on my entire body. So I do make them oil free as well, which is not difficult to do. But in any event, I have created a series of statements that denotes the times in my life when I'm not eating whole foods plant-based. And for that reason, I'm never cheating on my diet or doing anything bad because it's all built into my system. Part of my dad's system is, my dad is a Cheegan, so part of my dad's system is that once every two weeks he has cheese on his pizza or he does volunteer work for elder services and if they make him cookies or brownies, he'll eat them. So that is just part of his system. That's the way his system works and he's able to maintain his weight and his health while doing that. Your system is going to be entirely dependent on you and your lifestyle. I cannot sit here and tell you what it is that you have to do and creating your system is actually something that we do inside of my program and we work together as a team, myself, Dr. Catherine, Coach Kiki, and you Four of us working together to build the system that's going to be the best for you so that you can live your life and be a normal person that's enjoying life and everything that it has to offer, but also doing so in a happy and healthy body. And there's balance between these two things. It's very hard to find, and that's why we do it.
it inside my program. But to answer your question, you are going to be the one that experiments and finds out whether or not this is going to bring you to your happiest and healthiest self. If you try it out, you feel great. You're getting the results that you want in terms of your weight loss. You're happy. You're healthy. You're able to go out for a meal with your significant other. Then that's great. Keep doing it. If you find that it causes you to sit in your room alone and binge eat once a week, you feel sick the next morning, you start gaining weight from it, then that's not going to be a great thing to do. But you need to experiment to find out what's going to be best for you. Do you credit having a lean physique to your diet or your exercise routine? Well, thank you for for saying that I have a lean physique, but I don't credit it to my exercise routine. I do run every day. I run about six miles a day and people say, the only reason you look that way is because you run six miles a day. Like, honey, when I was running like 12 miles a day, I was gaining weight. So <laughs> riddle me that one. Um, no, exercise and weight loss. I have not seen a strong correlation between those two things. Diet really is everything. Diet is everything. On my program, we don't require you to exercise because we see just such tremendous results from shifting the diet. So I 100% credit it to my diet. And then when it comes to things like muscle tone and, you know, having definition and all that and having lean muscle mass, that's where exercise comes in. So would I credit it 100% to my diet? Well, if I was sitting on the couch all the time, I probably wouldn't have any muscle mass. But because I do run and I do abs every day, I've been going on the stair stepper, I do lift a little bit every day, so there is some a little bit of definition in my arms, if you will. Um, that's where you get muscle mass from, but actually burning fat, fat is burned in the kitchen. Should I snack or not snack? Eating three times a day versus six times a day. So once again, this is going to fit into your lifestyle, your work schedule. Do you have kids? Do you have a lot of open time during the day? Do you like to work out and you like to work out on an empty stomach? It really depends on your lifestyle. And the reason why I'm giving you so much, so much just permission and the ability to just do whatever you want willy nilly, not really, but you know what I mean here. And I'm not saying this is what you have to do is because it really doesn't matter how many times per, per, per day that you eat. It really just matters how many calories you're eating overall. And I know you're going to say, Emmy, you said don't count calories. Why does calories keep coming out of your mouth? Because calories do matter. But when you're on this diet and eating completely whole foods, plant-based, 100% whole foods, plant-based, oil-free, and you're eating enough vegetables and you're eating enough starch, then you don't have to count calories. So it, it doesn't matter how many times per day you eat. So long as you're eating this diet, you're eating enough of each of the starches, vegetables, fruits, and legumes, your diet proportionally is correct, then you can eat five times a day, you can eat two times a day. I will say that a lot of people do try to do intermittent fasting and it does end up biting them in the bum because they will say, I can't open my window until 2 p.m. Then I can only eat until 6 p.m. And then they end up binging because of it and it's just the hot mess express. So I will advise you to start eating when you get hungry. And there's another side to that coin as well, which is don't start eating just because it's time to eat. A lot of people eat out of habit and not because they're truly hungry. If you wouldn't eat vegetables, then you're probably not hungry. And we often eat our breakfast just because it's time to eat breakfast. It's part of our routine, but not because our body is saying, can I have a little bit of fuel? It's time for me to refuel. So start eating when you, when you feel hunger and stop eating, not at the end of the day, but stop eating that meal once you feel like you've had enough. Once hunger comes about again, you can eat more. Something that I would also advise you to do is to, to think of your hunger not as I'm hungry, I'm full, but think of it as a spectrum. This is something that we do inside my program as well is we think about hunger like a spectrum and we don't have to fill up the tank and we don't have to wait until the tank is completely empty. And we sort of find the sweet spots of where we function best. So some words of wisdom for you. You don't have to just eat three meals. You don't have to eat six small meals. Eat when you feel truly hungry and stop that meal when you feel like you've had enough. That's all we got time for because I'm already at 16 minutes, which is just bananas. So I'm going to pause here and I will see you guys in my next video.